veterans and the young, talented freshmen. I do think they've got to get better offensively. Oh, what a look. I think we'll get a much better feel for Cooper in the second half. After he breaks out of a sweat, but has a nice... The Canadian nice had that one swatted. Good dish inside the wraparound for Cooper. Defensively, he's struggling to score as he should, but if he can get himself going defensively, the offense will come. And Cooper, and one. Shackleford, the open three. Four, weak side, and here comes Cooper with the push to the left side and in. But the thing I like about Bruner, he just kind of is calm. You know, you can tell he's an older guy. And Petty just cut right in front of him for a layup. Three ball from the corner. Cooper able to split the double on the oop of his own! To Cambridge! Here is Cooper to the left, into the lane. contact because he really looks like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. Oh, yeah. And the receiving end from... Cooper attacking. Excellent feed. Marking. Just one of six from deep. But with the two-point advantage. Now Cooper breaking down. Pinson. And I'm really happy for T Tillman because He's had a tough few years in terms of just roller coaster. Call. Freshman from down the road in Powder Springs, Georgia. With seven points, make it nine. Keep him out of the lane. He's got to cross up over one of the best defenders. Flashier, uh, but Euless could defend you 94 feet, had the speed. And I, I just love seeing some of these smaller guards be the best player on the court. And there he is with a rebound to Williams. Cooper. Lob it up, Cambridge! The block and give him space to go make a play. And that's what they do, get Cooper in a position to be successful, let him go. Sights on the end zone, rolls through! Up in in that first game against Alabama, and mind you, I know Alabama lost today, but Alabama's legit. Get 26 points, nine rebound. Cooper on the quick counter, and one. So they are not joiner. at full strength, by the yep. way. Hadim C is on a... Gonzaga had a battle the other night against Pacific. Um, heads up. Woo. Great. Loves the process when we talked to Bruce Pearl about it. Uh, he, he was in the gym whenever he could, even though he wasn't working out with the team. Well, the first, first half, Schuler tried to beat the shot clock buzzer. Cooper, oh, boy. long bounce pass. And the in that first half for Auburn, the only guy who found himself in some trouble. What a look, and a Cooper gives it up for four, trying to tie it. No, back out to Sharif, another chance to tie, and that one goes. Today, the, the challenge now of keeping his guys motivated with no seed to play for, no standing to play for. Nothing these Pearl feeds his guys with so much confidence as a shooter, Beth. The only thing he's against is early transition. Cannot knock it down. Just never has been a scorer, Seventh Woods. Average one point, in the, and you have to be a tough, physical defender at your spot. He's not there on either one. Can you two I, work on his game? Yes. I, I, I say yes because I think, look at the vision, man. That's, that is uncommon. Well, he's already... Uh perfected the coop oop that Bruce Pearl talks about and he understands winning plays and that's just whew. the other day against LSU was amazing all threes and layups Cooper gonna have a chance from deep and he'll knock it down options I have with people like you know my, my friends Doris Burke and and Jessica Mendoza and and you know Holly Rowe people you got to be able to to guard your yard and, and be able to keep the ball contained and right now A's across the board that looks like Dallin's report card. Um, not much elevation in it, very low release point. He's got to be able to make threes consistently. Andre High gets rejected. Chance for Auburn to close the gap here. Cooper on the spread out. That was against Texas A&M, hit five threes in that game. Cooper down the paint. Oh, he's good in trap. 
Here's Cooper. In traffic again and finishing again. Blocking foul would be an and one. Can't finish. Marla would be better off using some ball fakes, get defenders up off the floor. Action. You know, the winds haven't really followed yet this year. But Garcia stayed with the play, created the loose ball, and then Johnson was able to finish. Again, Cooper. For Sapp, it feels like they have about twice as many. <laughs> yes, it does. Great Cooper. Feet. Five on the shot clock for Cooper. There he goes. Inside off glass. This evening has been matched by Auburn. The bounce pass. Cardwell attack. For Auburn, remember this, it wasn't just Okoro. Auburn lost four double-figure scores. Them tonight by the time it's all said and done. <laughs> Attacking. How about that move? The finger roll. Hard to come by. You've got to find offense. Johnson, a strong finish. Give him 12. The head and the dunk by Cooper should get a hockey assist on the last play. Game. I would agree. 25 for Cooper. A layup at the buzzer. Old veterans and the young, talented freshmen. I do think they've got to get better offensively. Oh, what a look.